Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Kingsville 010. Full time data entry Excel VA, $60 budget. I'm looking for a full time VA to research data and input them into a spreadsheet. Job is simple and easy. I will provide training videos so you can watch and learn. Must be have excellent attention to detail. Must understand speak and understand English. Must be punctual and committed to the task. 5 days per week, 8 hours per day on a variety of tasks on data entry and research. Salary is $60 per month, plus work bonuses for this position. Please do not waste my time and apply if the salary does not meet your expectations. Let me get this straight, you're asking people to work a full-time job for $60 per month? Would you do that? Because I guarantee the bonuses probably don't even come close to paying all their bills. This next one is by Roman Does It. PS4 Neo, brand new and sealed, $15. Where are you located? Can I pay $6 cash please? Thanks, I'm in disability. Thumbs up. Where are you located? Appreciate. You are kidding, right? No. Price is $15. Where did you take $6 from? $8 cash. It's used and I will come from here. Where are you located? It's brand new and sealed. Read the description. Where are you located? They're clearly located far enough away from you to not have to worry about doing this deal with you. This next one is from Sever Flux. Acoustic Electric Bass Wanted. I'm looking for an acoustic bass guitar. Must be in good to perfect condition. Prefer with case, but not a deal breaker. It can be most any maker like Ibanez, Dean, etc. I will pay $100 to $180 cash. You must be willing to deliver to me in Glendora. No texting. I do not have texting capability. For a faster and more detailed response to your inquiry, please contact via Craigslist email reply. To be frank, I really don't know much about guitars, their prices, what's good, what's not, you know, brands, all of that like, but I feel like if you're wanting something decent, that's a very low price to be willing to pay, but I could be completely wrong. This next one is by Tacos and Boba. I'm annoyed by the replies where people say you should move so families can sit together. To those people. Parents can plan their flights like everyone else. If you don't like the seating when buying the tickets, don't buy the tickets. Get on another flight. So, because I chose to procreate, I have to pay an extra 50 bucks a flight to supervise my 3 year old while you get to pay a regular fee and fly in peace? If you are offered a comparable seat, just be a decent person and move. It's not like you're being asked to donate a kidney. Which airline hits you up for an extra 50 because you have a kid with you, and which airline lets you book a seat with a 3 year old that wasn't next to you? I'm dying to know because I never want to sit next to someone's solo toddler. Delta, when we traveled this summer, we had 4 flights total and would have to pay an extra $25 per flight to choose seats so we could guarantee one of us would sit with our 3 year old. I'm surprised how few people on this thread realize that many airlines have this policy. Based on the replies, the consensus on Twitter seems to be that parents should have to pay more money than non-parents every time they fly to guarantee they sit with their kids, and apparently, most people don't realize that major airlines require extra money to book seats together. Not just parents and children, anyone wishing to sit by a family member friend, or travel companion has to pay more for reserved seating. I'm not a super big flyer, however, the couple times I have flown, I've noticed that yes, when you order tickets, if you want seats together, you do have to pay a little more, that's just how it works. If you don't like it, then like what was said earlier, don't book the flight. This next one is from Pseudo McSandwich. I was going to post this on the RB6 sub, but fuck man, why do you need a watermark that fucking big? They use the watermark because it's the free plan. If you want the paid plan, you won't have a watermark any longer. 
This next one is by, you see my problem is this 378. Can y'all bring me some food and a drink if one of you at the store? I have COVID and I can't go outside. Oh, I'm not working at the moment. Oh, okay. And most everyone at work is new. How long have you been sick? It's fine. Shows me how much y'all care. Could you at least send me money on Cash App? For DoorDash or Uber Eats in a long time, I have no more PTO. About about a month and a few days. Whoa, I'm so sorry to hear that. What's your Cash App? It's here. I sent my roommate's boyfriend one because he gonna do it for me. Please send a decent amount. Love you. What gets me is the end where they say send a decent amount. What to them is a decent amount? Enough to be able to eat for free for a day, for a week, a month, what? Because quite frankly, I feel like if this person gave them enough to order once, they'll still be ungrateful. This next one is by Bmock. Hello, I'm interested. Can you let it go for $100? No. Do you accept any offer? $175 firm. Can you do $150? I'll pick up tomorrow. Where is your location to pick up? I have another offer for $175. If you can match that and pick up tomorrow, let me know. Closest intersection is here. Okay, I'll pick up. It's working fine, right? Yeah, it's been tested in my backyard recently. It's in good working order. If it is working fine, I'll get it, and you can't do for $150? I have a pending offer for $175. I'd rather get it for my asking price. Okay, when he pick up? He said a few days. Okay, thanks. I'll pick up for $150 tomorrow. If you want, I'll wait until he comes, or I'll pick up tomorrow for $150. Blink, I'm so serious. I'll pick up tomorrow for sure for $150. Okay. Be serious all you want. I'm not haggling with you. How many times do I have to say $175 firm? Okay. Thanks. I can pick up tomorrow for $150. Station end. The price just went up to $200. I really don't understand the beggars that feel the need to haggle, especially when the person selling something explicitly states that their price is firm. I don't know how much firmer a statement like that can get. And our final one is by Curtis Only. 2008 Mazda 3 GT, $5,500. Hi, is the car available? And is the price negotiable? I'm willing to offer $2,800 cause it's manual. Not many people are interested, but I'll take of you right away if you open to negotiate. Yes, open to reasonable offers. Let me know what you decide. 2800 and bring oil. For oil change? No, but I figured you could rub me down a little bit since you think you're going to fuck me. Fucking lowballer. That's such a great way to come back to lowballers. I think if everybody used this same style at hitting back against these lowballers, they'd kind of fall out of existence. I'm assuming though after that one, they got the hint. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload and drop a comment down below. It really helps out with the algorithm. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.